when you go ahead and tap on that, you can now see the GB WhatsApp features that are available on your iPhone. Hey, what's up? So this video is about how to get GB WhatsApp on your iPhone. And I actually made two videos on how to get the app on your phone. But some of you were like, uh, it didn't work. Some also got confused on the way because the app, you know, everything just stopped working. So um, if you're new here and you want to try that out, I'll be leaving the videos, you know, the link down in the description so that you can go check that out. So this video is actually a better way of getting GB WhatsApp on your iPhone. But uh, deal breaker is that it's actually a long method. Like this method actually involves a lot. And just as a heads up, those videos are actually animated videos. So it's an animated character with my voice in the background. So if you're kind of watching this and you're confused, you know, I'll be making a full recap when I hit 1000 subscribers. So, you know, be sure to subscribe for that. So for context, I actually did this on an iPhone 6X so that you can see how low this goes. So that if you're using a higher version, you shouldn't see it's not working on your phone. You shouldn't come and complain like this is not working on your phone and all those stuff. Yeah. So you can see this will actually work on my iPhone 6s. So on to this video, this method of getting the app is actually different from the other method, but it actually works because I actually tried this for a week and it was quite okay. And before we can even get the app, we did another app that runs third party applications. And as you know, Jimmy WhatsApp is a third party application and you know, iPhone doesn't really do so well with third party applications. So as I said, we need an app or a store that can run the GB WhatsApp app. And before you can get the app, we need a PC or if you have a MacBook, you can use that. So first off, let's jump right into how to download the app on your PC before you transfer it onto your iPhone. So um, go ahead and open your web browser and go to the Google search bar and type in Alt Store. Yeah, go ahead and type in old store and click on the first link you see. So after clicking on the link, it, take, you know, it takes you to the website. So scroll down to the bottom till you see, you know, the downloads for old server for MacBook and old server for Windows. So what you're going to do here is that you go ahead and download that for Windows. So yeah, download because I'm using a Windows laptop. So obviously I'll download the old server for Windows. So if you're using a MacBook, you do that for also you use the old server for MacBook, which is the old server Mac OS. Yeah. So go ahead and click on the old server for, you know, Windows, if they're using the Windows laptop. So as you can see, the download has started. So if you're done with the download, go ahead and extract the file. So yeah, when I'm done extracting the file, go ahead and open the setup. So go ahead and run the setup. And this actually uses internet connection. So go ahead and connect your PC or your laptop to an internet source before you open the setup because this is actually going to download, you know, additional apps that'll be helpful for this. Yeah. So don't forget to connect this to an internet source before you install the app. And if you're done with the installation and all that, you know, you can go through all apps and, you know, this are how the applications look like. So the old server is, you know, a shortcut, you know, that's the old server. And it also comes with other additional apps. So, you know, I think they're really helpful. So other additional helpful apps that would help in the installation. So when you're done with that, go ahead and connect your iPhone, you know, the iPhone you're going to use for this to your laptop. So go ahead and check whether it's connected correctly before you proceed to the next stage. Because if this doesn't show on your laptop, you can't work with the old server app. So be sure your iPhone is actually connected to your laptop before you proceed to the next stage. So just go ahead and, you know, open the old server. So go ahead and open old server and you don't expect to get anything on the on the desktop. When you open it, nothing is supposed to show because it's running in the background. So the old server is running in the background. So what you do is that go go to the uh, show hidden icons on the tax bar. So when you go ahead and click on that, you can see that there are two you know shape like symbols at the down. So that symbol is for 
um, the old cell, and I actually have two of them running. So I, I'm going to use one to you know, do this video. So um, just go ahead and click on one and head on to install old server and you know just choose the iPhone because that's the iPhone you're installing it to so when you connect your iPhone to the PC you know it's supposed to show here so if you do it and it's not showing it means your iPhone is not connected correctly so yeah go ahead and click on the iPhone and you can see a dialog box just pops up so it requires your Apple ID and password of that iPhone to continue you know to proceed so go ahead and uh, enter your Apple ID and your password. So let me enter mine and just click on install. So as you can see, the installation has started. So it will take a few seconds before the old store app is transferred onto your phone. And yeah, so as you can see, my mine is done. So they said the old store was successfully installed on your iPhone. So my mine is done so when you're done when you're done from this section means you're done with the laptop so you can put this away so you can punch your laptop away because we are now going to focus on the mobile phone but this is a heads up do not disconnect the iphone from your pc or your laptop or whatever you're using do not disconnect it because the old store app on your phone will actually use the old server to install GB WhatsApp. So do not disconnect it. If you do, this is not going to work. And if if you actually want this to work for you, you have to follow through the video step by step. So, so do not skip any step because if you do, this will not work for you. Because to be frank with you, this method is actually to use, but it's actually worth it because at the end, you will definitely get the GB WhatsApp app. So now since you are done transferring the old store app onto the iPhone, let's go ahead and see whether it actually works. And as you can see, my iPhone is still connected to the laptop. So as I said, keep the phone connected to the laptop because to install the app, the GB WhatsApp app, the old store will actually use the old server on your laptop with the internet source. So don't forget that. It might be a bit confusing, but try and get it together. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open the old store app. So initially, when you open it, you would see an untrusted developer pop up. So to solve this, just go straight to settings, general, then head on to VPN and device management. Then you can see the developer app down below. Then tap that, then head on to trust the apps and go ahead and trust the app. So now when you go back and open, you can see it actually works. So just go ahead and go through all the process and you can see there are some other third party applications that are available here that you can download. So you can also sign in with your Apple ID to make things a lot simpler. So now we have our auto store app, which is working perfectly. So the next thing we need now, it's the WhatsApp app. And because the WhatsApp app with GB WhatsApp features, you're not going to get this on the app store. So I'll be leaving a link down in the description to the website where you can get this app. So you can see, I'm, I'm actually on the website. So you can see it actually has steps on how to get to GB WhatsApp on your iPhone. So go ahead and scroll to this table of applications and you can see we have the normal WhatsApp, the WhatsApp business and another WhatsApp. So for the sake of this video, I'll be trying out the normal WhatsApp. So I'll go ahead and tap on the normal WhatsApp. So it brings me to their download page and I'll go ahead and download that. But don't leave the website just yet because you have to actually save the app. You know, you have to actually save the downloaded app on your phone. So go ahead and save that before you exit the website. So since you have downloaded the app, you can go ahead and install it in Old Store. So go ahead and open Old Store. And you know, at the topmost part, you can see a plus sign. So go ahead and tap that. Then it displays the, you know, recent download, which is the app we just downloaded. So go ahead and tap that. And as you can see, the download has started. So go ahead and tap on keep app extensions. Yeah, to continue the installation. So this may take a while. So you just have to wait a couple of minutes for the installation to be done. Yeah. And as you can finally see, the app has been installed in the old store. So when I head right back to my home screen, you can actually see that WhatsApp has been added to the apps. So go ahead and open the WhatsApp app. And because it's a new app, you just have to do the normal registration and all that, you know, with your number, your little bit, the, the, the usual process. 
So when you're done, you can actually see that it looks like the normal WhatsApp with you know, the normal features. But everything changes when you head on to settings and you could see what to see three preference, which was not actually there at first. So when you go ahead and tap on that, you can now see the GB WhatsApp features that are available on your iPhone. So you can see that all the GB WhatsApp that are available on the Android GB WhatsApp are actually here from you know the privacy settings to custom settings any settings that were on the gb whatsapp on android phones are actually here when you do this you can actually go ahead and explore the features that are here and they actually work they actually work i actually tried one feature where you can download whatsapp status so when you're watching someone's status you can just download it with just a tap of a button and you know those those kind of cool features are available here so you know when you try this you know comments down below some of the new features you discovered you know the problems you faced you know so that let's sort this out and you know as you can see there are tons of them i can't even go through all but the point i'm trying to make here is that gb whatsapp actually works on your iphone it's just that the procedure is a bit tedious but if you follow through all this process you will definitely get the app on your phone so i hope this was helpful and if you come across any problem any issue you know, go ahead and comment down below i would love to hear from you guys so with that being said be sure to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one adios